My name is Julie Sabatino, and I have two businesses in the wedding industry. The first is called The Stylish Bride, and the second is called The Stylish Dresser. Uh, the Stylish Bride I started in 2004, and for that business, I find all of the fashion elements of the wedding and coordinate them with the bride uh, so that it evokes her personal style and matches with the style of wedding that she's having. Um, and with the Stylish Dresser, it's a wedding day service where we come in and prepare the bride and the bridesmaids in the wedding party. We organize, press, steam, uh, handhold. We're their ladies in waiting for the day of the wedding. In my opinion, a bride should not start wedding dress shopping until she has a couple of key factors figured out. The first one is she needs her venue. She absolutely needs to know where she's getting married. She also needs to have her date, and she needs to know the formality of her event. And I think that all of these things combine to create the overall feeling. Even if you haven't figured out exactly what the decor is going to be, or you haven't you know, spent hours on Pinterest figuring out your look, you, th these very basic things will be important when it comes to selecting a dress. Because even if you are having um, you know, a wedding in a ballroom in New York City, there are many different variations of what that can mean and how it looks, and the dress should be suited for that, as well as for your personality. If I had to give a bride a piece of advice as she starts on her journey for the perfect dress, it's to spend a lot of time in advance thinking about her personal style and what she really wants to look like on her wedding day. Because what I've found over the years is what she thinks she wants and what she loves in photos isn't really always what she likes. And there's sometimes uh, brides have trouble merging the vision to the reality. And going in with an open mind to your dress appointments is great. But spend a little time thinking about yourself and what you really want to look like on your wedding day and what makes you feel good. Wedding dresses don't change all that much. You know, they're long, white, ivory, blush gowns. But there are subtle nuances and trends that come and go in the industry. I've been in it for 12 years, so I've seen a lot of different things. Um, what I'm loving right now is detachable skirts. So the gown underneath is slim, and you put an overskirt on it, sometimes that you can see through and sometimes that are not see-through, so that going down the aisle you have one look and it's a little bit more of a bridal, um, you know, the traditional bride when you think of it, and then you get to take it off for the party, which is really kind of fun and you don't have to change and you get a second look. So I think that that's a great trend. Um, and the same thing goes with a detachable half skirt. Sometimes you sl you'll see dresses now, so you get the slim line in front and you just get to detach the the back of it, which is really fun. Um, I'm definitely seeing a lot of sleeves. That's been a trend for the last couple of years. I think that brides are really starting to wear it, um, whereas in the beginning they were really thinking about it and thinking that they would like it, but didn't actually pull the plug on it. Um, color, you know, is one that, again, has been coming and going for a long time, but I find brides today much more open to the idea of a pale blush or a champagne color. Um, no one's really gone into the blues and greens in my, out of my clients yet, but um, I think that that's, it's great. And I think that as the industry evolves and we're seeing many new designers, uh, particularly Israeli designers, come onto the scene, it's changing the look of fashion and what brides are looking for. And, um, you know, they have more options than they did before.